Welcome to Git and GitHub, another video. In the last class, we have seen what is Git and now we are going to see what is GitHub. We will see again one more time what is Git and we will see it like the difference between Git and GitHub and we will see it like why do we need GitHub and how to use the GitHub to upload our first content into it. Now let's see here one more time what is Git and what is GitHub. Git is called the version control system. Version control system. For example, you are doing a certain code. I'm having one website in that I'm having particular button. The button is having a color red. I'm just painting the button with red color. Nice, it's looking nice. Obviously not, but suppose, imagine the next day again, you change the button to yellow color and then next day you change the button to green color. Let's see it here. So now in the same code you have changed, in the same file you have changed button three times. So basically you made three versions of same website. Now which version is better? That's what your manager thinks. And what if he says that, let's go with the first version of code where you can change your button back to the red. What if you suddenly wants to go back to your red color? How can you go back? Because you are just manipulating each one by one by code and how can you go back to previous? which you can by using version control system. The first one is version 1 and the second one is version 2, third one is version 3 so that you can go back to any version, every version is saved with a particular piece of software called Git. So Git is a tool which is used to save multiple versions of same files into your local system. We will download one software or you download one software or tool that will be storing files in our system. In our system, it's a local system, it will store. Fine, I saved red one, I saved green one, I saved yellow one. Finally, I want to share you all my code so that you and me both can work. Today I made button green color and you want to see that button and you want to change that button into another color because we both are working in the same office, imagine. Now I have to give you this code and you are somewhere else and I am somewhere else. In my system there is a code and I want to share it, my system code to you. And I can't do it in WhatsApp because it's company code. I can't do it in drive because it might go public. I want to share somewhere where codes can be understood in a simpler way. I wanted a platform where it is designed for course, mainly for codes. That is GitHub. So I will upload this particular software into GitHub and you will take it from the GitHub. When you push it to GitHub, I will take it from there. So, we both are connected or our whole code is connected with GitHub in the cloud. In a simple line, Git is a version control system, version control system and saves the code, saves different versions different versions in local. Now what is GitHub? GitHub is a cloud or web based platform platform to store store data you got saved in Git. Whatever the code you saved in Git that you, you also want to store or share with anyone that you will so go with GitHub. Let's go in detail sir, what's the difference between Git and GitHub? Git is not equals to GitHub. One of the major important thing people should know 
git is not equals to github they both are not same git is a software and github is a service git is in your system and github is stored in the web everything you do in git you will use commands in the last class we have discussed git add git init git commit there are a bunch of commands but github uses graphical interface it's like if you wanted to upload you can click upload icon if you want to download you can click download icon if you wanted to push click the push button if you wanted merge click the merge button everything will be done with buttons and interactive one. on a basic line git is a tool to manage different versions of edits made in a files made to files in a git repository but whatever the versions you have you want to upload a particular copy to share with someone or to keep it somewhere in cloud there you use github so it's like hub hub is like a multiple marketplace kind of thing there is a so many alternatives to github actually there are so many alternatives to github like bitbucket bitbucket or uh, most of the companies uses something called gitlab okay which works all are works all works something similar all works something similar but github plays a major role in the community of web developers let's start here how do we use github how do you push your particular code into github sir now there is no git there is no github in this particular uh, you know system now see here is there any git here in this particular folder obviously not how do you know that like for example i go here i'm just writing this is sample code and when i changed it does anything happen did anyone observe that i changed it no nothing happened no observation happened that i changed it to make this particular thing someone to observe your particular code we use git let's go here and let's install git here let's go here git in this particular folder terminal i'm just writing git in it see now git is initialized a empty folder is created in that particular uh, code now this folder will store your code version for example now i have it like just sample code tomorrow i will write sample code 2 day after tomorrow i will write sample code 3 but someone knows it originally sample code is there next it is change it to sample code 2 next it is change it to sample code 3 that is git now this git in it it is having initiated an empty repository now i need to add this is very important initially it's in a working directory now it's a working stage where you can do whatever you want that no one observes but once you wanted this particular version to save you will go here git add dot you can even give git add a file name but dot will preferable all files imagine i have 10 files i want to add all 10 files i will say git space add space dot it will add all the files see here now everything will go to the staging directory what is it staging directory you see here initially everything is in working directory now when you type this particular one git add it will go to the staging directory the staging area the staging area is where work will be observed see git observes it how do you do know that let's go here i'm writing i am writing more now can you see that i modified the code and you can also see my code editor knows that i modified the code what did i modified earlier this is sample code is there now i am writing i am writing more so now this particular code is extended this particular code is having extra one line and the git knows it the git knows it like there are two versions see this is the original one and this is the original one with this is sample code but now you changed it into this is sample code with one more version so you are writing this extra line that is what git is observing it every change it observes that 
adding this observation is in a staging area see staged the changes i wanted to stage always you wanted to push your works into staging age now go here get add dot see again everything is pushed to staging area now see there are no changes all are in staging uh, staging area only if you want to go back you can click minus again the changes will unstage you can even go for commands with git remove instead of git add you can even use git rm which will git remove now it is in staging area and i want to commit it how do you do commit it commit is like a saving now okay i did enough changes i changed this is sample code and sample code something more and now i am finalized i wanted this version to be saved and if you want to save it you need to write git commit dash m update it will save that particular version it is saved now the major important things today how do we push my code now everything is saved in my local system because git will save in my local system but how do i give this local system code to you how do you get it my code so to you to give you my code all i have to do is github basic commands the first step sign up for github go to github github website let me go here github and just sign up there go to github sign up create an account once your account is created you will have github opened similar to this all you have to do is click here new when you click here new automatically you can able to create a new repository you can able to create a new repository let's go here create a repository which give you can give it any name i'm giving a name like dummy repository dummy rep and i'm just giving it here i created a repository see step number 1 sign up for github step number 2 create repository step number 3 install and set up the git we already did now you can clone the remote repository or you can clone the repositories or you can even take this particular repository directly by link see i have one repository in this repository nothing is there see it here nothing now i'll just copy this repository copy the repository link all you have to do is commands git remote add origin and you will give this command automatically this git your github is connected to your local git local repository so now whatever in the local repository i want to push whatever in the local repository i want to push to the global one which is cloud one your git repository whatever it is for that you need to write command git push dash u origin main it would be main or master different branches will be there and how do we deal with the branches and the git branching an interesting subject which we will discuss in the further videos of git branching and open sources regarding the github now all i will do is git push dash u origin main that's it now it will push it into your github you can see it here see it's it's installed you can see it sorry it's uploaded you can see that see now git is uploaded now inside the github you have a file and if anyone you want to share you can share your code like this what if sir after uploading i did some change for example i did something again i am writing more now can you see this you write it more changes initial changes happen but are these changes were staged no first you have to change it into stage first push them into staging area so how do you do that go here git add dot it will go to the staging area now see changes went to the staging area now after that commit this commit dash m you need to give a nice commit messages because 
you know after certain time you don't remember why did you change this particular thing why are you writing this particular same code and what changes you made on that particular day the commit messages always helps the people understand it what we did now updated uh, explaining git demo simple sorry for spellings and the git was uploaded now let's go here all i will do is git again push dash u origin main it will push it into github one more time pushed you can see it now if you observe it here the git is pushed and you can see it here there is a new kind of version go here you can see git way github will show you earlier this i am writing no more is not there now you changed it so every version which you have done will be there and you can even see that particular versions what kind of things you have changed and earlier how it looks like also you can change it you can see it this is a basic line how do you download and install the git what is git what is github how do you even push your code into github what are github issues what are github pull requests what are actions projects how do we do open site open source in github how do we collaborate with each other how how can you contribute to my code or how can i contribute to your code and what is git branching why i am having it only main branch why you are having master branch why we are having it like different branches in real world how do these branches connected all these things we'll discuss in the further classes of git and github thank you all